Well, I'm working on my Corvette again. Decided to make another video about uh, something I'm going to do with this little device right here. Uh, as you've seen on my other videos where I'm restoring the interior of my car, I pretty well um, committed to uh, fixing all the electrical issues. And one of the problems I was having with this little guy right here, uh, this thing does three things. It's a key and ignition reminder. It's a headlight on reminder and it's a seatbelt uh, light driver so if you get in the car you turn the key on seat belts not fastened you get a light on the dashboard for a few seconds um, if you uh, don't have the, the car turned on or the key turned on you turn the headlights on it beeps to let you know the headlights are on if you have the key in the ignition and you open the door to get out um, it'll buzz and remind you that the the key is uh, in the ignition so you don't lock your keys up in the car and of course these things have been around forever uh, but this particular one here is the one that came off my Corvette and it was malfunctioning uh, I had it working at one time and then it stopped working and then I noticed it was starting to pull my battery down if I left it plugged in for a week uh, it would pull the battery down and uh, it physically get hot I mean when you reach down there to unplug it it would be warm and it's a pretty strange bird uh, and I have a schematic to the car but you really can't tell much about it uh, it's old 1970s stuff but uh, basically these four connectors here plug into the convenience center uh, near the uh, fuse block and then there's two uh, wires that come over out of the harness that plugs into here and then this wire here goes back into the convenience uh, center to the uh, lamps outlet so that when the uh, uh, headlights are on uh, you get a 12 volt input into this wire here. Uh, these two connections here, one uh, actually comes from the hazard fuse which is just hot uh, all the time, uh, battery power at all times. And then the other one uh, goes to the key switch uh, where if your key is in the ignition it actually just grounds that connection. And uh, these four here, I'll show you in a minute on my schematic uh, which one's which, but uh, one is uh, ignition uh, power so when the ignition is on you have 12 volts one's ground one goes to the seat belt switch and uh, one goes to the uh, seat belt light that's in the center console uh, the center uh, uh, gauge cluster which on one of my other videos you'll see I've already repaired all that and uh, I just uh, committed to having all my electrical stuff work and I went online to look to see if I could find one of these because you can find some kind of obscure electronic uh, pre PC boards and items from uh, from Ameri Corvette America and Corvette Central and Ecklers and all them. This particular one here you can't find. I found a few on eBay that were used but really buying another used one what am I going to get? And uh, this thing is really strange inside. It's got some it's got a strange relay of some sort. We'll open it up here. It's one of the weirdest things I've ever seen. There's the circuit board. And you can see like right in this area here it's been warm. You see here. Not too crazy about using something like that. I don't know exactly what's going on with it. The strangest thing right here is this little guy right here is a contact like a relay. It's got this coil of wire around it. I don't know how that's supposed to work unless maybe current flows through that coil and it heats up and causes the contact to make and break. This is actually the little Paizo electric horn. But I'm just going to ditch this thing and uh, uh, what this video is about actually is I'm going to show you how I'm going to make my own. I'm going to do it with just some simple relay logic and uh, get rid of all this crazy 1970s electronics and weird, weird, oops, excuse me weird weird uh, weird relays and such so it looks like I'm gonna have to stop this video my battery is going dead and uh, I just put a new battery in it so I don't know what's going on but I'll uh, I'll stop this video and then I'll make a second part to it